Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here speaking to you, and I'm glad to be back here with you because today we're going to be talking about the Women's World Cup, which is going on right now in Australia, New Zealand. We had a video last week looking at a few of the games for the Women's World Cup, and we're going to talk about a couple more today as we get prepared for the second round of games in the group stage. And we're going to profile two of the biggest games going on in the competition this week. Uh, games are going to be happening on Thursday and Friday. Uh, at least that's Australia and New Zealand time. Uh, and that is going to be uh, the USA playing as well as England playing. And uh, it should be a great uh, two days of action. I've been enjoying the Women's World Cup. I hope you have been too. Uh, I'm excited that uh, you know so far my my bets have been looking good, and uh, I hope yours have been as well. So we're going to talk about that. And as you can see right in front of you, we've got the Z Code System YouTube page. So if you're not watching us on uh, YouTube or you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to go over there right now. Subscribe to the Z Code System channel, and you can get up to date on everything that we post there. As you can see, we've got loads of videos posted and uh, videos on soccer. We've got videos on baseball. We've got videos on all kinds of different things. And you can see there the Live Bet app. And you can go over and you can watch those videos any time of the day uh, and get uh, updated on the picks that we, we give for free here on YouTube, and uh, we're updating that regularly for you out there. Now, if you are already a member of the Z Code System uh, YouTube, or I shouldn't say, I should say subscriber to the channel, then obviously but we thank you, and you can also get our latest blogs there on the Z Code System blog, and uh, as you can scroll down, and we've got baseball picks, of course, we've got the Women's World Cup, uh, which I profiled last week, and lots of other picks going on uh, there at Z Code System. As you can see, we've got lots of baseball because, well, baseball season is in full swing right now. All right, so we're going to talk about two games specifically. We're going to talk about uh, the USA playing the Netherlands as well as England playing Denmark. Those are two huge games this week in Group uh, Group E and D, and uh, we're going to take a look at those. So uh, let's start out with first, though, looking at the outright winner's odds and see what they're up to at the moment. And I'm going to be looking at William Hill's website. There are lots of other sports betting websites out there. I've just chosen William Hill for this uh, this year video. Um, but you can see there the USA are still the favorites to win the Women's World Cup at plus 225. <clears throat> Spain coming in at 350 and England coming in at plus 400. Those are the top three favorites going into uh, the tournament, or I should say going into uh, the next games in the group stage. Uh, all three of those teams winning in their first game. But, you know, I think... One team that you might want to keep your eye on right now, and that's Germany, who had a great first round win or first game win of the tournament. So keep your eyes on Germany. That's one to watch out for uh, in the tournament. And I've kept saying, and I've said uh, previously, that Australia is another team to definitely keep your eye on because they are playing on home soil. All right, so let's take a look specifically now at uh, the games, and I'm going to show you the odds for those games. So I'm just going to scroll back up and uh, go to... Um, the the odds here for the individual games uh, at the Women's World Cup. So let me just scroll down. You can see there are you know, various games, uh, and we're going to take a look at the U.S. against the Netherlands first. And as you can see there from the odds, courtesy of William Hill, USA are a massive minus 167 favorite to win in 90 minutes. Netherlands coming in at plus 360 and a draw at plus 250. Now, if you are familiar with betting on soccer, you'll know that on these great websites like William Hill, Bet365, uh, Coral, all these different websites, you have so many markets to pick from. Uh, but I'm just going to be specifically speaking to you right now from the uh, one times two market uh, with the USA and the Netherlands. And as we go into this game, the USA won 3-0 against Vietnam in their first game. The There was no debate ever that the US was going to win that game. But I think the big uh debating point was how many goals the USA were going to score in that match. And uh, Sophia Smith scoring twice in that game, USA winning 3-0. And I really thought that the US would score five, six goals in this game. The Women's World Cup is up to 32 teams now, expanded from the previous edition. And, you know, there's a lot, uh, there was some uh, a, a dilution of the tournament with the addition of more teams. And we've seen that with some of the score lines for some of the games. 
I really thought the USA would pile on the goals in this game. They did not. Uh, they dominated this game. They did not give up a shot to Vietnam. Now, Netherlands, they picked up a victory in their first game. Those picked up a win in their first game, 1-0 against Portugal with an early first half goal. But unlike the USA, they didn't have that dominating uh, experience in that game. They did well in the match. They they controlled a lot of it, but there was always a feeling that Portugal was going to get a goal at some point in this game, but the Netherlands held out. Now, keep in mind, this matchup, the USA and the Netherlands, this was the final of the 2019 edition of the World Cup in France. USA won that game 2-0. Now, I think the USA are going to come through this game with a victory. I'm not sure how high scoring this game is going to be. These teams have played five times in their histories with the USA winning all five games, outscoring the Netherlands 16 to six. Now, I think that the USA will win this game, but I think it's going to be a very close game. Will it be a, a high scoring game? No, I don't think it will be, but I do think we will see over 1.5 goals in this game and uh, the USA to pick up the victory. Watch out for Sophie Smith picking up a goal in this game. Now, I want to go on or go back to, or I guess I should say, go to the match between England and Denmark, which is going to be played the following day on Friday. So that USA game will be played on Thursday in uh, New Zealand, but that will be Wednesday night USA time. So if you're in North America, you'll be seeing that game on Wednesday. Now we're going to be taking a look at this England game, which will be played on Friday in um, Australia and uh, Friday in uh, Europe. So we can see that England are heavy favorites to win this game. Let me just scroll down there. So England are minus 80, excuse me, minus 286 to win this game. Denmark plus 650 and a draw is at plus 300. Now, England have not been playing well over their last four games. They've scored one goal in the last four games and won just one of those games. Now, it's fair to say that England did keep three clean sheets during that same time period, but England are having trouble scoring goals. Now, they did uh, win their first game. Uh, they defeated Haiti uh, 1-0, uh, thanks to a Georgia Stanaway penalty goal in the first half. Now, a lot of expectations were for England to absolutely blow Haiti out of the water and to win this game big. Uh, I remember looking at the, the various odds and the markets for the game, and uh, there were a couple of uh, bet builders and pre-built bets um, that were offered uh, by one sports book, uh, and it was for England to score over four and a half goals or England to score over six goals. So there was a lot of expectations that England were going to win by a large score, but they didn't. They won one nil in the end. Haiti did offer a, a, a difficult game to them, and uh, that Haitian team may be better than a lot of people thought uh, going into the tournament. Now, Denmark, Denmark picked up a late win in their game against China, one nil, and they needed a late goal, 89th minute goal, to secure the victory. And, and although Denmark did, you know, st statistically control this game, it was very close. China had their their chances. Uh, but this isn't the, star, the strong Chinese teams we saw 20 years ago uh, when they were playing, you know, in the World Cup finals against uh, in the World Cup final against the United States. So um, these two teams should go through in the group. These uh, at least at least England should definitely go through as as group winner. And I think in the end, England are going to pick up uh, you know points in this game. Now, do I think that they're going to win? Not necessarily. So I could see Denmark picking up a draw in this game. Uh, just as much as I could see England picking up a win. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game once more, just like what we saw from both teams in their first matches in the group. Uh, I think this is going to be a very close game, and uh, if I'm, I'm picking a England win or draw in this match, and I'm going to go under 2.5 goals. I know that might sound a little silly to uh, some people, but I think this is going to be a close defensive match uh, with, with uh, some chances, but maybe not enough finishing in the final third. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here on Z Code System today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that the USA are going to win their game against the Netherlands? Do you think um, you think England is going to pick up a victory over Denmark? And like me, do you think that Germany is the dark horse in this tournament to win it all? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that now. And also, like this video, hit that thumbs up, and stick with us, guys, here on Z Code System for all of our picks that we give you every single week. We'll see you later, guys. Have a good week.